Hey everybody, Wayne here. Today we're gonna do a little unboxing. Um, this is hot off the presses. Just arrived from Danvers and Games, DVG. Let's see what we got here. I think everyone um, and their mother on, eBay, on, eBay, on uh, YouTube has already done an unboxing for this game, but that's okay. We'll just add ours to the list. I haven't put up many videos lately, got a lot going on, but I wanna make sure to get this one up there. So let's take a look at it. Ooh, ah. All right, so what do we got in here? Well, as you can see, what do we got here? Ooh. Oh, actually, my my dice. Are they going to be in here, too? We'll see if they're in here. I think I ordered dice as part of, a, like, an extra. Those are not part of the normal Kickstarter. Anyway, so here's the Corsair Leader neoprene mat. I'll get that all checked and spread out here, opened up in uh, a second. Oh, yeah, these are my dice. So again, uh, I don't think these these aren't part of the this Kickstarter. These were these dice were something I had <clears throat> ordered with another game or something. I don't even remember. I can't remember where I ordered them. So they're D6s, but then on the sixth spot, they all have logo for whatever, you know, USA, Germany, Iron Cross here, whatever it's called. Uh, Japan, you know, the Rising Sun. So, so I got Japan, Germany, USA, and Russia. Oh, and the United Kingdom. Yeah, I can't even remember what I ordered these for. This unboxing was off on a little tangent here, but yeah, I'm not sure what. Did I order these? No, I don't know what game they would have been part of. I don't know. Oh, no big deal though. Let's get into it. What do we got here? What's this? What's all this stuff? Huh? Oh. After action, declassified in the mission reports or after action reports, maybe. A little, uh, little extra. And then let's see what do we have in this booklet here. History of Bomber Fighting Squadron 10, 2nd of January 1945 through 15th of November 1945. Oh, cool. And then, oh, yep, yeah, this looks, this is like original. Oh, mine got a little, little janky up in the corner, but. It's, it's all there. Wow, look at all this stuff. All right, it's a little historical pamphlet, uh, booklet there. Very cool. Ah, but here's what I came for. Oh, this beast is heavy. I'm not kidding. <sighs> Dang. Okay, this, this box is actually really heavy. Corsair Leader, the World War II Pacific Theater Solitaire Game. Look at that, cool cover. Oh, I can barely lift it. It's hurting my back. I'm just kidding. It is pretty heavy, actually. Flying is hours of boredom sprinkled with a few seconds of sheer terror. Gregory Pappy Boyington, United States Marine Corps. Three-inch black sheep squadron, cloth patch included. Oh, cool. Look at that. Very cool. Guys. Corsair leader places in command of a U.S. Navy or U.S. Marine squadron in the hostile skies of World War II in the Pacific. We've also added special United States Army Air Force missions to add to the Pacific experience. Corsair Leader includes 13 campaigns. Wow. All kinds of aircraft, all kinds of great stuff. Solitaire game. You can also play cooperatively. Hmm. Built in game system generates the missions and controls the opposing forces. That means you can play the game at your own pace whenever and wherever you choose. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, 400 plus cards, nine, nine counter sheets. No wonder. All right, well, you know what? Let's open this bad boy up and let's dig in. Box there we go. Found it. Alright. Let's dig into this bad boy here. I think I need the blade on there. New blade. Alright, good enough for now. He's a beast. Ugh. Alright, get that cut. 
open, right? We'll look right on top. 36 pages, rule book. Yep, like standard DVG. Show the components. Oh, lots of pictures. Usually lots of pictures. Components, list all them, campaign sheets, start describing things, tactical display, how that works, pilot cards, etc. Lots, they always do lots of pictures and examples. So, yeah, see, look at all these pictures all over the place. So, love it. Always makes it easier to, to learn. Very cool. And then, at the end, Kickstarter, so actual rules. Well, this is a expansion package I did not order with it. 33 pages of rules, maybe? Looks like, yep, 33 pages, technically. Um, names of fantastic, fantastic Kickstarter players who made this game a reality. Let's see here. Next page. Wayne Hansen and Kathy Hansen, me and my beautiful wife, the better half. All right, I'll move this box out of the way. All right, so there's the rule book. All right, so the dogfight sheet, sheet that controls the actions for dogfights, that is mounted. So it's not just even a, um, yeah, I would have expected, I actually thought it was gonna be you know, like a cardboard, like a piece of cardboard style, like, um, not paper, but, you know, thicker than paper style, but not actually mounted. But this is like an actual mounted board. That's really cool. I assume this is the tactical display. No. So, mounted tactical display. Very nice. Um, this would be, you know, everything when you're laying down your targets and you start putting your, you know, the different counters out on here. You got your target deck, event deck, running through the, um... Sequence of play, but I do have that neoprene one, which let's see. I'll probably do neoprene one is bigger. Looks like neoprene one's bigger. All right, cool. Works for me. Looks like the design might be a little different too. I'll check that out in another video. Actually, I changed my mind. All right, one D10. And here are the <laughs> nine counter sheets. Oop, don't the camera. So weapons here, different weapons, and now the um, enemy bandits with the yellow stripes, or well, it actually looks like they're bombers, I guess, enemy bombers. Sorry for a little bit of glare, everybody, I do the overhead light right now. It's early in the morning. Not a lot of sunshine yet. And then our guys, yep, named, you know, Clark's aircraft here, and then High, low, see the H, L, and that's for altitude, H, L, low, double-sided counters, no bandit, no bandit, assume when you draw those out then you wouldn't be putting anybody, something like that, assume I read the rule book once, sites, counters for the sites, so, so you can attack, because when you go into an area, um, with the target card, I believe, you know, sometimes there's going to be aircraft, sometimes there's going to be um, things on the ground, sights, I guess, sight counters. So, you know, anti-aircraft guns, um, fortified guns, things like that. You're going to try to take out more aircraft. And these are the usual um, beautiful... DVG style, individually, um, individually punched counters. You just go ahead and see so you could pop it right out of there. Pre-rounded, um, just beautiful. So easy, so nice. Gotta love that. That is saves me a lot of time with the clippers. Let me tell you, because I round the corners on my other counters, other games. But with these, no need. Pre-rounded. More U.S. aircraft, hack run, still got it, radio call, fire detector, okay. Stuff that, I don't want to spend too much time on stuff I'm not like 100% sure on, so. Hmm. Cool. And last one, one more weapons. 
Oh, <laughs> the uh. <laughs> but, hmm. Black Tech Handy Collection. Look at that aircraft. Uh, is it an F-14 Tomcat? That's interesting. What's that doing in here? Uh, aim? Missiles? What? AGM? What the heck is going on? Oh, that's right. They got the, uh, the special campaign. I wonder if there's a, oh, there's a sheet on it. Anyway, we'll, we'll look at it in a minute. The old player log. I already saw it's up on DVG's website, if you want to check that out. Download copies. I don't, can't copy that one. Um, what is this? I, okay. Oh, I see. Island operations and carrier operations. Oh, I see. Probably based off of. Yep. So, and this one, like the carrier operations. Fold out sheet here, by the way. One sided. So, this is all information on these two sides. Background. You were in command of all the aircraft on an escort carrier. The sheet details what you need to know to launch, recover, maintain, and conduct fleet operations for those aircraft. You may use the sheet and rules in conjunction with any Navy campaign. So, I guess there's the regular Navy campaign, carrier operations, and then island operations has, a, has another fold-out as well. Um, you're in command of all the aircraft on a newly constructed Ford Marine Airfield. Super cool. Very cool. There's, the, there's a lot of stuff to go through in this. Um, this unboxing. I'm trying to hurry through a little bit because I want to spend forever. So I want you guys to see though. The Sheep Squadron, and it's that fold-out style. So I suppose these are each of the campaigns. Black Sheep Squadron, the Ball, Britain. Oh, I got a controller in my hands. Oh, this one's not double-sided. They're not a fold-out. I guess this one was. Battle of Midway. Pearl Harbor, another Battle of Midway, Battle of Coral Sea, Operation Vengeance, Guadalcanal, Georgia, Sumatra, UK, Okinawa, US Navy, UK, Battle of Liat Gulf, was on Wake Island. Let's shoot again. He's the only one I guess double. Interesting. Very cool. Tons of campaigns to do. Tons of campaigns. Um, okay. Oh. Um, info. Link campaign sheet. Like uh, info sheet. Player aid. Player help sheet. Key terms. Pilot skills. Ooh. I have all these all set up on my little clipboards. If anyone's watched my playthroughs, you know how I do. Alright, we got another die. So 2D10. Very cool. Black Sheep Squadron patch. Pretty cool. And all these cards. Lord. Okay, usually I go through all the... Oh. You have the Aces expansion. Huh. Ace expansion. Is it just uh, like a Japanese deck though? Something? Says it's all the Japanese on there. Oh no, it's US. Okay. Alright. Well anyway, um normally I go through, open all these up and look at them. We're just gonna look at the fronts just because I don't want this video to go any longer. I don't video's already what are we looking at? 14 minutes? Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna do a 30 minute unboxing. That's not cool. It's not fair to you guys. So we'll kinda look at these. So looks like we have Based on an idea what these do, so a target card here, we're doing photo recon. So you notice to be, say, at the, like in each area, at the target, there'd be two sight counters and one bandit counter. So two of the, you know, like ground counters and one aircraft. And then in the approach areas, to so be all around it, um, you put two sight counters in each one, and then no bandits. And then back side here, you can see this is um pilot card. Right, so P38 Lightning, Julius Jacobson. This is skilled card. I think everyone has six sides. Like each card is double sided, and there's three cards. Six levels of skill. Basically, I think everyone has their six levels of skill. Everything from like I, I don't know what exactly they are, so I don't want to say something like you know like newbie, let's say, and then top is ace, or I don't know what exactly what it is. 
let's see what he does under stress, certain level of stress, all that good stuff, what his equipment is. Pretty cool. Same thing, looks like more, more aircraft. Tiny Cherry, <laughs> Tiny Cherry, and the Helldiver, SB2C Helldiver, very cool. Sorry for the, again, sorry for the glare, everybody. Kevin Morgan, F6F, Hellcat. Kind of hoping I'd see the, um, okay. Hoping I'd see the Tomcats in the, on, on the front of these. So you can get a better idea of the stats and whatnot. I don't know, I just love the that whole concept. It's the um what's that movie? Where the aircraft carrier is transported back in time to like before Pearl Harbor and they can change it. That's what the I guess is included in this game. Dun, dun, dun. I think it's included. Maybe the whole story is not included or I thought it'd be a campaign sheet. Anyway, I'm not sure. So, and then there's the Aces expansion, which... Oop. Under, I thought they had to order this separate, and I didn't think I did. Maybe I did. Or maybe they threw it in. I don't know. DVD's pretty awesome like that. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get... Let's take a break for a second. I'm going to go ahead and compare... Um, compare the... Mounted tactical display, try to compare it to the uh, to the neoprene mat. So we'll be right back. All right, so I have them both spread out. I'm going to go ahead and take the camera off the mount here, though. I want you guys to get a better idea. So as you can see, the, the neoprene one on the left versus the mounted on the right. Um, the neoprene mat is definitely larger, um, which is pretty cool. Right now there's a little bit of a wrinkle, but it was folded up, so I'd probably put a couple books on there um, overnight and kind of flatten out. Mounted one looks real good. I mean, I, uh, I just had to push it down there and it's, it's totally fine, so. I love the fact that they, during the Kickstarter campaign, they changed the artwork on it. I think it was, this was gonna be, like a standard green, <clears throat> almost like, if I can dig it out here, this, the dogfight one, what's that green, um, you know, it, like a warfighter style colors, I think, and font and everything, but, you know, during the Kickstarter campaign, DVD's always really good to listen, people are like, well, this doesn't necessarily fit Pacific Theater, how about something like this, more of an island, and ocean and all this brown and stuff and they're like yep let's do it so there you go but it looks good you know for your target cards your event cards turn counties only get five turns on each mission I like that it has the sequence of play on the side here and then saying let's go over to the neoprene mat same thing looks real good um as usual with neoprene mats you know it's um the clarity isn't quite as much so if you look down the play, but it looks fine. Like it's fine. You can still read it fine. But if you want a hundred percent clarity, like I'll tell you, you can see. I don't know if it's probably hard to see on camera, but like I can stand back and I can definitely read. I can read the sequence of play on the right one on the mounted board from here. It's harder to read the sequence of play. I really can't read the sequence of play here. But then again, I don't play my game standing up from three feet away. I usually play sitting here. And if I'm sitting here, I can read it just fine. So, but just FYI, just telling you. I like that it's a little bigger though. Um, more room in here with all for all the counters, the card with all the counters around it. This one might get a little tight, especially in maybe the middle. I don't think these areas get tight, but maybe in the middle. So, all right, well that's Corsair Leader. That's comparing some of the components, looking at a lot of the components. We did not open up the card packs, but I think you guys get a pretty good idea of what you expect from a game like this from DBG. Lots of counters, lots of cards, lots of content. That box is heavy. Um, can't wait to dive into this one. Uh -huh. Dive, get it? Anyway, I think we maybe got a, another winner here from DBG, but we'll find out. So thanks for watching my video, guys. Till next time. Later.